Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another Mad Mobile video. JC Andy 7 here. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. So today, being May 13th, um, also Friday the 13th, EA decided to release some new flashback players in flashback packs. So obviously, this is Series 5, I believe, and they released 5 new players, ranging from 94 to 98 overall. Unfortunately, there's no 99 overall, which is why I'm a little bit disappointed. So no cards similar to Andre Johnson, obviously, but there is two 98 overalls, which is pretty nice. Um, joining Jarius Bird, I believe. I'm pretty sure there's another 98. I can't think of it on the top of my head right now. But anyway, we're just going to be doing a review of all five of those players, look at their individual stats, and see how they rank up to other players on my team, as well as how they rank up in the game. So let's go ahead and start out with the lowest overall. That's going to be 94 overall, and it's going to be... Ahmad Brooks here of the San Francisco 49ers. I was kind of a little bit disappointed that they didn't release more cards, uh, but I guess they released five of them in batches. But um, anyway, here's Ahmad Brooks card. Obviously, every card, flashback card, has that plus two XP. You also have that special statistic, and Ahmad Brooks happens to have that plus one tackle on his 2013 flashback season card right here. Um, comparing to his teammate in real life, Navarro Bowman of the 49ers as well, pretty solid stats if you see from the first two columns from the left. Uh, he does have better stats than Navarro Bowman or some of the same stats like tackle and agility, but he's got better strength, speed, acceleration, and awareness, which is pretty nice in a linebacker. Obviously, that right column, you see that red right there. Not as good coverage, um, including man and zone, as well as pursuit. So, obviously, he's a linebacker. He should be going after the quarterback, but especially when they're playing zone, coverage could be an issue, but I mean... Pretty solid linebacker if you're going to pick him up for a little bit over 100k at this moment. And if you guys are expecting to open up these flashback packs and happen to pull a Series 5 pull, um, which was all these players I'm going to be announcing in just a little bit, I do recommend you guys selling them right away because these prices are going to drop a lot, especially once people are getting on the hang of these flashback packs, they'll drop a little bit. And right here, as you see, Victor Cruz, 350k. That's a lot for a 96 overall wide receiver. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of 96 overall wide receivers for less than like 250K. But um, anyway, really nice artwork on Victor Cruz's card. One of my favorite players in the NFL. Uh, plus two XP, plus one catch. Obviously, he's been injured for a little bit. So that's why it dates back to this 2011 season, which was his breakout season. Um, right here, compared to an Allen Robinson, 95 speed, 97 agility, 96 catch, 91 awareness, 97 elusiveness. Um, really solid card, but obviously the price should drop. I see him going around 250k in the near future. Moving on, we're going to go ahead to another 96 overall player, and that's going to be Owen Daniels, the tight end, um, the veteran tight end here. Played a lot of his time in Houston, which is from his flashback card. Obviously, I believe he went to Broncos for a little bit. Not so sure where he is right now at this moment, but this dates back to his 2008 season. He's a 96 overall tight end. A lot of people have Gronk. So I'm surprised his price is still up there around 285 at the lowest. Um, that's quite high. Obviously, prices will drop. So maybe you guys happen to pull Owen Daniels. You can definitely make some decent profit before his card goes to a little bit under like 200K. Um, that's my speculation. But he has that plus one acceleration in his card. Compared to Allen Robinson, it's not really a fair comparison because it's a tight end to a wide receiver. Um, obviously, his run block and impact block and pass box is going to be better than Allen Robinson. Uh, pretty good catch at 95. Um, I do like his speed as a tight end. Uh, really nice, as well as the acceleration at 91. So pretty solid card on Owen Daniels, um, in my opinion. So moving on, we're going to the big boys. we got two 98 overall cards. No 99, which is unfortunate, but uh, we're going to go with Lawrence Timmons right here. It's a 98 overall card flashback, dating back to his 2014 season. Right now, lowest price is 650k. Obviously, his price should go down a little bit as well, maybe closer to 500k in the near future. He has a plus one awareness. Awareness, obviously, one of the biggest boosts in the game. Compared to Navarro Bowman, definitely good stats. Bowman definitely excels in that coverage stats, um, like we saw with Ahmad Brooks. But um, look at everything else. Timmons excels, um, and, and we see that 98 tackle, 98 pursuit, 87 agility, 91 speed, 95 acceleration. Really good card for Lawrence Timmons right there. Definitely a nice one as well. Pretty good artwork. I love the flashback artwork. All the cards look really nice. And our last player is actually another current um, Steelers player, and that's going to be D'Angelo Williams. Right here, 
Obviously, that dates back to his time in Carolina when he was sharing that split with Jonathan Stewart. Uh, that was their famous back line right there. But uh, obviously, Stewart is um, now their starting running back, and D'Angelo uh, did a good job replacing Le'Veon Bell when he was hurt. Um, so that's why he got this flashback, obviously. Currently, the lowest price is 675k. Expect that to drop as well. Compared to Emmett Smith, I mean, that's not really a fair comparison because Emmett Smith is one of the best running backs in Madden Mobile. Um, obviously, got good acceleration and good agility and good speed for D'Angelo Williams. Good elusiveness as well. Good carrying and ball carry vision. Really nice looking card. Just doesn't look that great compared to Emmett Smith, but this card looks absolutely beast. So, um, really nice card in D'Angelo Williams. But anyway, guys, that's all five players that were released into packs today. So, hope you guys found this review a little bit helpful. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for your latest support. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you are new. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video.